influence of man on his environment. Influence of man on his environment. The topic is clearly written on the board. Now, before we go down to what we have on the board today, let's do a quick one on what environment is. Now, the environment, our environment means the immediate surrounding, our immediate surrounding. Now, when we say immediate surrounding, there are those things around us. We are not talking, we are not talking about the man-made things like your chairs, your table, that you can see in your houses or in school, when you come back to school. No, the things in our immediate environment, the physical environment, it means those things that were created by God, those natural things like the plants, the trees, the vegetations, the rivers, the lakes, those things we can see around us, they are the features of our physical environment. These are the things that make up the physical environment. Now, what are the influence of man on his environment? This environment that we have talked about now. Influence of man on his environment are the activities, the different activities carried out by man. Now, when we say man in social studies, we are not just talking about the gender, the male gender. We are referring to human beings in general. So in social studies, you'll be hearing us talk about man. So when we talk about man, just know we are talking about human beings in general, females and males alike. Now, influence of man on his environment are the various activities carried out by man on his environment so as to live a comfortable life. You know, these things in our environment, in our physical environment, man has come up with different ways. Man has come up with different ideas on how to create things out of these natural things around us so as to help him live a comfortable life. Let's take for instance, we have trees around us. Now man looks at this, or forest, man looks at this and then wonders, what do I do with these things in my environment? What do I do with these trees in my environment? And then, after brainstorming, after thinking, he comes up with that idea, oh, I can cut down trees, which is lumbering. I can cut down trees, and then these trees, I can use them to make things for my benefit. And so the man cuts down the trees, and then it is processed. It is used to make furniture that we use at home. Even the books you use, yes, it is made out of wood, paper. Uh, paper is made out of wood that is gotten from trees. So you see that man has used what he has in his environment to his benefit. So that is what we mean when we talk about influence of man on his environment. Now let's take another one. Now man is born into an environment that is filled with water. Talking about those that live in riverine area. Now, man comes up with an idea. Oh, I am surrounded with water. What do I do with this water around me? Rivers, lakes, oceans. What do I do with all this? And then man comes up with the idea of, oh, I think I can catch something. I can count, catch things out of these water bodies. And then you see man comes up with the idea of making nets, fishing hook, and then uses it to catch fishes and then you see the man selling it to make money or even eating it as food that is another way man influences his environment the same way they can make canoe you see those who go into canoe making boat making if they live in a riverine area these are the various ways man he makes use of the things in his environment for his benefits so, influence of man on his environment are the things, the different things, these different activities now that we just talked about that man, that man carries out in his environment to make life comfortable for him. Now, the environment determines some certain things in the life of man. Children, don't forget that when we talk about man in social studies, we are referring to human beings in general. Now, the environment determines some things. So we are going to look at these things that the environment determines. Let's 
take number one that we have on the board here, body structure. The environment determines the body structure of human beings. Let me uh, say this, children. Do you know that we do not have a choice we do not have a choice in picking the environment we are born into. Because if we have the choice, I don't think any of us would have uh, agreed to be born into this environment. Maybe we would have chosen another environment. Oh, I want to be born in Canada and all that. So none of us has a choice in choosing the environment we are born into. But we all have a choice to influence our environment to our benefit. You have to note this. We do not have the choice to choose our environment. You don't have the choice to choose, oh, I want to be born in the riverine area. I want to be born in uh, areas uh, with low rainfall or areas with high rainfall. No, nobody has that choice. It's just find yourself in an environment oh this is where I come from this is the environment I come from but then we have a choice to influence it to our uh, liking so let's come back to the things determined by the environment our body structure yes the environment determines your body structure. There are people, you see, when you go to some environment, you see them, they are very short. You hardly see tall people there. The environment determines their height, their stature, and all that. Then the second one, color. The environment also determines our color. Now, when uh, you see some persons, especially those that are in the region with uh, very uh, low rainfall, where you have a, a, a high climate, the, the, the area is very, very sunny, very, very hot. You see them, they are usually dark in complexion. You hardly see fair people there. That is because of their environment. You see, the environment determines their color. Then another one is shelter. Yes, shelter, we mean um, the, the kind of buildings, the kind of building that you see in a particular environment. So the environment determines the type of building in, in such environment. Those in the riverine area, you see them when they build houses, they don't build concrete houses like this one you see around us, like the house you live in. No, if you go to the riverine area, they build their houses because they have uh, more water, more water body than land. They build their houses on water and so they use wood you see the erect structure uh, that is a little above the water level and then they use wood to construct their houses that's the type of house they live in and they are comfortable in there so but we cannot build that kind of uh, shelter that kind of houses here because we do not have uh, water so much water body around us here so the next one is food the environment we find ourselves in determines the kind of food we eat. Those people that find themselves in an the environment that has a forest, uh, you see, they go into hunting. They catch bush meat, antelope, uh, grass cutter like that, and then that becomes uh, their food. And then they they grow crops. Yes, they grow crops. Those in the river area, river area, you see them catching fishes and all of that then dressing the environment that's number five the environment also determines the type of clothes people in that environment wear like those people in environment that ha that, that 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 is usually very cold like th those in a plateau just see that that region is very very cold to look as if it will look as if you are in uh, 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 Canada, very, very cold. You do not see them wearing skimpy clothes, no. So they wear clothes that will cover their body because of the weather. Their mode of transportation, those in the river area, you see them, they, 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 the mode of transport is uh, canoe and uh, others. Then the occupation too, those in the areas with uh, forest, they go into farming, hunting because of the uh, grass and forest they have around them. So with this, we have come to the end of this topic today. But then children, before I leave, I want to um, leave you with something to do. So here is your homework. You're going to explain influence of man on his environment. Now, if you go back to the notes and then just read through, you will see uh, the influence of man on his environment. That's your number one. You're going to explain it briefly. And then you're going to list four things determined by the environment. Just give me a, a, a list of four things. We have more than four. I explained more than four. But you're going to give me just four of the things determined by the 
environment. I hope this lesson is well understood. I hope to see you in my next class. Bye for now.